Retro Prime here, how's it going? Uh, I'm going to talk about charity shops today because I've been mean, finding loads of decent stuff and I got a, I got a charity shop find yesterday that nearly made me poo my pants. Yeah, right, what I'll do is I'll show you the games I've picked up recently first. Um, in no discernible order because I just got them in a pile here. I got a uh, Colin McRae Rally 0.20 or whatever it is, or 0.2. Um, it's not in very good condition. It is complete. And the disc is, it's a bit, you'll not be able to see it I think, but it is a bit, a bit used. But yeah, that's, uh, that's one for the collection. Whenever I see PS1 or PS2 games that I don't own, um, I do buy them because that's the ones I kind of like collecting for. Um, which will explain why some of these aren't even the best of games, but I still bought them. Um, Star Wars Battlefront. I've had loads of copies of this for the charity shop. Uh, I've gave, given two away and I've lost my copy. Um, this one doesn't have the booklet. But it's in perfect condition and it'll do for my to replace my lost copy. Because that's a game I really do love. Um, Let's Make a Soccer Team by Sega. Never heard of this game, but it was a quid. One British pound, so I thought, oh I know, it's one for the collection. Pacific Warriors 2, I've got the first one of this. And it's alright for a laugh, so I thought I'd buy this one. It says two pound, but I got it for a quid. Same with this one, Quantum of Solace. Again, a game I got in a charity shop a few years ago, um, but the disc wasn't in there. I have played it before, I think I bought it first time around when it came out. And uh, it's alright, it's, it's a fairly decent James Bond, I think it's a third person shooter isn't it? Can't remember now. Um, NBA 2K6, oh 2K8 even, sorry. Mm -hmm. Now, basketball games I do like, but I'm very, say, I prefer like NBA Jam and stuff, but I'm willing to give that a shot, see if it's any good. Uh, again, this one says I got it for £2, but I don't think I got it for a quid, and it is Tom and Jerry War for the Whiskers, or War of the Whiskers. Um, someone online said this is a good game. Um, I got it because I thought it would be so interesting, well, because I've not got it, but I thought it would be interesting to play with my kid, because she's getting to that age where she can start holding a joypad and stuff, and hopefully she'll, I can't get that sticker off, hopefully she'll, uh, She'll enjoy that because Tom and Jerry and she likes Tom and Jerry. Oh, that's a good one. Um, another basketball game. NBA Live 2005. NBA Live 2005. I'm not even check this one actually. <laughs> yeah, that's in there. Boxed and, com boxed and complete. God, that was how I started doing videos. Boxed and complete. Boxed and complete. And uh, this one. Mist 3. I've got this for the PS2. Picked it up in a, in a market fair recently. A, a, a car boot fair. Um, you know, I've never played it and a few people have said it's really good, so I've got a couple of these off, I think this is the one I'll have a look at. I've got um, Mist 1 on the PS1 and I've still played that as well. Uh, yeah, so that was my game pickups recently. No, not a lot, nothing nothing terrible, nothing great either. Um, but I was in one of my local toy stores in my hometown of Gala Shields and I came across some fantastic toys. Now, the toys I'm going to show you now cost me a five pounds in total. I'll show you this first one. Now, I've seen a couple of these in charity shops before, but I've never bought it. Because I thought it was like a storage thing for like cars or something, I didn't really know what it was. Um, and I've seen it, and I noticed it was animated. Transformers animated, that's, that's animated Optimus Prime. And I was like, do you know what, I'm just gonna, and it was a quid, and I thought I'm just going to buy it and see what happens. Turns out, it's um... Turns out it's a uh, Transformer, but it's not doing Transformer Optimus. What it does is it goes like this. You ready? Is it? Hey! It turns into like a, a, an Optimus gauntlet and gun. Um, it's got like a button there in the My lights. name is Optimus Prime. Is it? Protect the all spark. Bring it on. And I think it says one more thing. Watch out, Decepticons. Watch out, Decepticons. Transform and roll out. That's awesome. So, um. I was going to put it on the, the Optimus Prime display, but my kid kind of likes it, so she can just kind of have it. Like I said, quite for that. It's not bad, and it works, and it's fun. <laughs> I can't remember who's shooting it. Um, yeah, but the, 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 the rest of this stuff, um, I recognised instantly from my childhood, and I was like, <gasps> and I just, I just scooped it all up, because I thought, God, the, cause this, the shop's quite busy, actually. And I was like, oh, I really want these. Um, now, this is Manta Force, and I don't know... Scythe. I don't know. It came in a sec. I had this as a kid. It's got all its discs, which is... Uh, it doesn't come with any amount of dudes, which is a right shame. But it comes with all its discs, and it still works. And it's in a lovely nick. Oh, God, the memories of this came flooding back when I, when I 
when I um, seen it this one, I was like, oh god, I've got to buy this. Even if it's just to hold it for a few seconds and get my childhood memories back. And that actually happened, it was really good. Even my brother, I, I sent the picture to my brother and he's like, oh, I totally remember that. Um, I got two of these. Now they're Starcom. And they still, for the most part, work. No, it does. It does work. I've got it to work. Um, so I've got two of these complete. I think they're complete. They've not got any dudes, like I said, but they seem to be... Seem to be nothing missing, and uh, they are awesome. Uh, yeah, there's a bit of yellow, but all the stickers and that are still ve very much intact. If you look at the front as well. And what year would this have come out? Has it got a year on it? Uh, Coleco Industries 1986. It's 32 years ago, man. Jesus. And, like I said, got two of them. And uh, I remember those from my childhood. I can't remember if I had them, but they did straight away I recognised them, so so I knew what they were. Um, and there was one more thing, and this is just an absolute blinder. Starcom, I can't remember its name now, and I checked as well. It's a Starcom vehicle, I can't remember which one it is. Um, oh, and it's complete. Look at it, so it's got like guns there, and it's got the two pop-out guns there, and the cockpits work. So they can come out. Lovely, oh, I love it. Just, oh, I love it. And obviously these are the magnets for the wee guys. The wee guys had um, magnets on their feet, and you could stick them to the vehicles. Um, it's it's even it's motorized part works. Looking balance at my hand. Hang on. So you press one here, it goes. And then the wee vehicle that was in there could come out. And it's I mean it could do a bit of clean, but all the stickers seem to be there, and even the wee ones. And it's you know it just looks fantastically in good nick. Um, I get the impression, if I had to guess, that all these toys, because they're all in such good nick and they're clean and the stickers are right, I get the impression they were like toys that were left at a granny or a grandpa's house and, you know, the kids grew up and the, the toys were put away and then the, the, the grandparent dies and then, you know, the, the people that came with these aren't they just going to take to a charity shop, it's just toys the parents used to have. Because they're, oh, I forgot about that, but hang on. It's still there as well. Pew! Um, because they're in too good a nick to not to have been kicking about in a kid's bedroom or, or like in an attic, they're just too, it just feels to me like like these were in a, it just feels like they were in a granny's house, they weren't played with and then Peter Bugger died and the charity shop's got them, um, and he did, Stop it, but it came with a wee guy, wee man, a first guy, he's not got his visor, but he's, again he's in really good nick, you can see the part on his chest and he's got the magnets on his feet. That's awesome. Oh god, we had such fun with these as kids. I used to love these little figures. There you go. So there they are, so all those. Um they had I think this had two pounds on it, but when I when she put it through the tail I got I got the transformer adoption thing, the, the these three little vessels and this guy for fiver. So oh and I really I don't know if I want to sell this because I don't want to start collecting anything. I already collect computer games. I already collect Transformers, and I'm already skint. So <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna. But all I know is that this absolutely ticks every one of my pleasure buttons, and it's just, it just brings back childhood memories. It looks awesome. It just, it just made me very, very happy. And um, I was gleefully playing with it last night. And this. Oh, that's awesome. Anyway, so I thought I'd do a wee pickups video just because I was so happy with him I thought I'd do one. I know nobody likes watching pickups videos these days, they're very passe, but um, I don't care, I like doing them. So, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'll get back to my regular Transformer reviewing uh, after this. Um, yeah, so I hope you're all having a good time. I hope charity shops get better because it's really hard to find anything in charity shops at the moment because they know what they've got now. They check the internet. They, they get usually when they get one of these, they they go oh eBay. Oh, that's worth fifty quid. Oh, then, then it doesn't go to the shop. It just goes straight online. Um, so you're lucky if if the charity shops get things in. They don't know what it is. That's that's how this kind of stuff. Um, I think can slip through the net because a lot of people dick what it is. They just, they just assume that's a toy for pound stretchers and it's no. No worth anything and that's why it goes for 50p or whatever anyway that's waffling i uh, hope you enjoyed that uh, please leave a comment if you did if you did not then just give a like and it, maybe a subscribe and then uh, you can listen to me waffle even more in the future goodbye